That's not my daddy. Where did you be? If you are a regular visitor to the vlog, this is going to be a little different, a unique vlog. If you are here for the first time, welcome. Today I'm going to be filming a special Q&A segment for the vlog for the Makers Fest that I will be attending in September. They sent me a list of questions. Today is a special Q&A, but first. Stickers are here. Uh, if you want a sticker, I'm going to put a link in the description below. Click on that link, it'll take you to a sign up thing on my website. I'll send you a couple free stickers. Let's do this. All right, so the Makers Fest. Danny from Makers Fest sent me a list of questions via email. I'm gonna try to go through them right now so you can get to know more about me. What is one thing you would like the public to know about your business? I guess I would like the public to know about my business it is the why I do it. I quit my job about four years ago to make a living as an artist full time and have just chose to live a creative life, but a life that's also helping others. And I like to use the platform that I have as an artist to raise awareness for foster care and the importance of that and the need for fresh drinking water around the world. So I love making art, but I like to use the platform and the voice I have as an artist to bring causes and needs to awareness to the public. So, um, yeah. Where do I see myself and my craft five years from now? I love shooting in my studio, but when I wear my hat, it like covers the light. I'm going to try, being this is for Makers Fest, I'm going to, I'm going to make something to try to solve this lighting solution. I know there's like a mathematical way of finding the center. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna eyeball it. The only problem is now I can't see the monitor. I don't even know if this looks good. Here's our situation here. We got the camera, and this is usually what I use as my monitor to see what I'm filming. And then I put this over it to work as like a reflector. Now I can't see the monitor to see if it looks any better. Hmm. Um, this is with, or this is without. This is with. The frustrating part for me is that I can't see my monitor, so I don't know if I'm in frame, I don't know if I'm in focus, but this seems like it'd be kind of cool for like, maybe doing some product photography. I'm gonna keep it around. All right, so where do I see myself in five years? Let's put this up. I would love to be continually creating artwork. Uh, I'd like to do more art internationally. I think it'd be cool to do some murals like in different parts of the world. And I'd like to be able to hire maybe two people. One that's like a uh, secretary or like assistant that handles like emails and kind of scheduling my day because I'll go like days without responding to emails. And then maybe just like an assistant, like a creative assistant that would, that would help me with building things and just like when I'm moving ladders, uh, just like an extra set of hands, that would be nice. Next question. Is your business a hobby, full-time work or both? Full-time, I work full-time as an artist. All right, uh, what would your advice be to others looking to start something similar? I learned, here let me, here, let me draw this. I don't know what the truth is to this story, but it's a story that I heard and it's an analogy I use often. It was this guy who was an explorer and he had a crew. Oops. 
and there was an island. And these guys sailed and sailed and sailed to reach this island. They got off and they said, all right, we're gonna establish ourselves on this island. And the captain did something very drastic. The captain decided to burn the boats. The captain lit the boats on fire, so they had no choice but to succeed on this island. So the point I'm trying to make, ah, never gonna get off this island. You just have to quit your job and you just have to do it. Cause if you keep saying I have this hobby and when the hobby starts making more money and I have things all worked out, then I'll be able to do this full time. So that's always been my biggest advice is just burn your boats. You have to be successful. You have to pay your bills. You have to eat. You have to survive. Burn the boats, quit, do it. You'll work harder. You'll spend less time goofing around and you'll take it really super seriously. So that's my best piece of advice. <coughs> What do you think is the most common misconception about your craft? I think a common misconception about my craft is something that I was maybe a little naive about. Painting, painting, painting. It's not just painting. It's not just the art. There's a lot of meetings, emails. There is billing, getting paid. You have the freedom to be creative and do the job that you love. And then there's like other things that you gotta do as well. It, it, it really balances out. We're coming down to the end here. What motivates me in the face of adversity? That's a great question. And I go back to my why, which was the first question I answered. I know that there's a bigger purpose to what I'm doing. So when I get discouraged on a project, I think about the bigger goal, you know, trying to raise awareness for foster care, trying to raise money and raise support to go to these different countries to dig wells and to deliver fresh water filters. I know that there's a bigger thing involved and there's more than just this one project. Like there's this one project that might be giving me a headache and this might one problem that's a little hard to solve, but I know there's something bigger going on and when I can work through that, these other things are going to be blessed and they're gonna be taken care of. All right, well thank you to Makers Fest for inviting me to be a part this year. Hope you guys enjoyed the Q&A. Uh, be sure to check out my website. Uh, check out my Instagram, I keep on top of that pretty well. I'm gonna be doing some giveaways with Makers Fest, so be sure to follow them and all their, their social media goodness. Thanks a lot, and have a great day, guys. And if you're new, hey, hit subscribe. Shameless plug, sorry. Mm -hmm.